Today we have invited as a guest speaker Yuga Guru Mohan Karki. Um, Yuga Guru Mohan is a multiple therapist with the base of yoga and the naturopathy to treat all diseases with no medicine, no injection, and no surgery. Yuga Guru Mohanji, you are the founder of the Yuga Guru Institute established in the year 2007, founder of Holistic Healthcare Foundation Society established in the year of 2006. You were a yoga head, EQMS, PRCB for yoga certification board examination ministry under ministry of Ayus. Faculty for yoga and naturopathy, Reserve Bank of India, Indian Oil Corporation, Delhi Development Authority, Sports Complex till now. You are also regional coordinator, Jain Vishwa Bharati Institute under deemed university since 2015. You are senior yoga teacher, teacher Patanjali Yoga Samiti, former HOD Yoga Fortis Hospital, Noida. You had visiting faculty for yoga, Flo Daniel India Private Limited, at Mox, MDOCS Development Center, Kejriwal Group of Companies, ACL Technologies, etc. You had also former director and HOD training department, Vedic Upchar Sansthan. You had also written many books, Food Mantra, Secrets of Health Eating, Seven Secrets of Yoga Science, Science of Holistic Health. You have also compiled a book called Path Breaking Success Stories. You have compiled Bhakti Gizanjali. You have uh, you are the chief editor of Yoga Guru magazine and Hamro Swadesh, published by Hamro Swabiman Trust, Patanjali Yogfit. You had conducted seasons, appeared in Yoga Expert in hundreds of TV and radio uh, program with News 24, Fashion TV, Sakti TV, Surya Samachar, Sahara TV, Asta TV, Sanskar TV, etc. You had uh, many case studies with the success on various diseases. You had received uh, many awards and uh, recognition, Yog Ratna Award, Yog Sadak Award, Gaurav Award, so etc. etc. You are also convener of International Yoga Festival 2019 organized by Navyog, Yogi Sports Association supported by Ministry of Ayush, Government of India. So now I would like to request, come on the screen, Yuga Guru Mohanji. Namaste, Pavan Sharma ji. Thank you for your kind uh, introduction. And stress is a very common problem which leads number of physical, mental, emotional complications. It not only impacts our personal health, but also it impacts our interpersonal relationship. Over the period of time, this sort of stress-driven situations or chemical reactions that happen within will lead to conflict outside. And it is not only related to these situations, this stress-driven reactions that happen in our body impact the relationship outside. And when we talk about peace, yes, the relationship outside. And when we talk about peace, Yes, it is peace of mind is always important, but at the same time, peace outside also is important. As uh, Pavan Sarmaji rightly said, we are from the civilization that always advocate Vasudeva Kutumbakam. And yoga being a part of that very civilization, it has minutely studied and explained about achieving that state of Vasudeva Kutumbaka by optimizing ourselves at the first place. As Marsi Patanjali said, Yoga Chitta Vritti Nirudha, it means controlling the fluctuations that comes in our mind is yoga. And what lead to that fluctuations? Marse Patanjali explained in a beautiful way. Pramana viparya vikalpa nidra smritaya panchataya klista aklistaha. It means there are five brithis which creates pain and sorrow or misery or which may not create that pain or sorrow or misery or which may create pleasure to some people. 
even though it creates pleasure to some people but ultimately it will not let that person to be in a present state of mind not that will not allow the person to remain at a peace and bliss that is why marse patanjali says we have to practice yoga to develop control over the fluctuations that comes in our mind and once that happen marse patanjali rightly says a person will be able to achieve the state of self realization and when that happen everlasting peace and happiness will remain with the person and to achieve that everlasting peace and happiness marse patanjali suggests abhyasa vairagya abhyam tan nirodha in yoga it is said practice to control all the fluctuations that happen within that will help you optimize your inner capacity you as an individual are not limited to this external reality that we normally feel but we are part of god we are part of that universal consciousness we are part of the cosmic consciousness and when we have all that godly capacity once we realize that we will be able to handle all sort of fluctuating situations remaining at a peace remaining at a state of bliss and this is how the yoga the practice of yoga will help us achieve peace of mind peace of mind within at first and then ultimately peace of mind to the people around in a sense once we become yogi in true sense will be the source of happiness to the people around will be the source of happiness wherever we go because we will start radiating the positive energy outside we will be able to take up all the negativities from outside without negative reaction handling all sort of situations with the presence of mind but for that we have to practice a yogic techniques mentioned in the text in a true sense in letter and spirit it says abhyasa vairagya abhyam tan nirodha we have to make continuous effort with the feeling of detachment but at the same time we have to make continuous effort we have to remain karma yogi in true sense and once we start making continuous endeavor in a right direction without getting distracted by the fluctuation that comes in our mind which are actually fed by the senses and when we develop control over the sense and continuously make effort to achieve a state of vairagya making right effort as a, a true yogi we call it yoga karma su kausalam means action in perfection continuous action without stopping anywhere till the time you achieve the ultimate realizes and as we move ahead in the process we may find various obstacles in the path and in yoga suggest that satu dirgha kala nairantarya satkara sevito dridha bhumi we have to make continuous effort till the time we achieve that ekme or the success as marse patanjali suggested that is self realization self liberation from all sort of worldly desire and the bondage and when we move in the direction yoga believes there are various obstacles in the path 
the obstacles mentioned in the yoga text are not related to yoga alone these obstacles are the obstacles of life they are vyadi sthayan samsay pramad alasya virati bhranti darsana alabd bhumi katva anvasti tatvani chitta vichche paste navantaraye these nine obstacles vyadi means disease yes everyone a few knows that istayan means sort of mental laziness samsay means self doubt pramad pramad is carelessness alasya means laziness vyadi istayan samsay pramad alasya avirati lack of virati means lack of vairagya when a person remain attached to worldly things outside he or she will not be able to continuously move in a right direction the attachment will actually pull a person down every time the practice of detachment is very important to move ahead in a right direction and achieve the ultimate is success in yogic sense that is liberation from all bondage and when that happen yes the peace of happiness from within will lead to the peace and happiness outside and as marsi patanjali is goes ahead he suggested we have to practice our approach in such a way so that we will remain at a peace when we are having a relationship to the society outside yoga suggest or yoga darshan suggest maitri karuna mudito upekshanam sukh dukha punya punya bhavana chitta prasadana it means when we develop connection or the contact outside we have to have a friendship with the people of status who will actually be instrumental to help you in a time of need but when you see the people around who are under privilege always have a heart to be the savior to the people who are under privilege and struggling and when you help the people who are in a state of difficulties or they struggle it will help you achieve peace and happiness within that help that you offer without expectation this is also a source of peace and happiness to the practitioner maitri karuna mudita sometime conflict and stress set in to the mind of people when they see other people getting success yoga suggest we have to develop a habit to see the happiness or the success of other people with a state of joy once we develop that capacity with a continuous effort of abhyasa as marsi patanjali suggested abhyasa or continuous effort to improve our behavior improve our approach towards life it will add on in our life journey in such a way so that we will remain at a peace because peace outside can be achieved only when we have peace within if you are having problem inside if you are struggling with physical health issue mental health issue emotional health issue you cannot experience the peace that we are talking about so physical health mental health and emotional health need to be optimized and yoga is the tool which will help us to achieve that maitri karuna mudito and upeksha sometime we see people around who always try to hurt us who always try to defame us sometime this happens because people around do not want to see you achieving success but when you realize that do not their actions or reactions to whatever you do once you know that simply move ahead ignoring all the allegations made by these intentional harmful people around maitri karuna mudito upekshana upeksha does not mean hatred remember you need to just 
develop capacity to ignore. Only ignore I am talking about. If you start hating other, it will start hurting you. It will take away your peace of mind. So it is very important. Ignore the people around who always try to hurt you. But do not hate them. If you start hating, you will simply stop that. So this is how yoga philosophy suggests us to move ahead. And as we move ahead and make continuous effort to achieve the peace within, because peace within is a secret, secret of peace outside. We have to follow a very important Upadesa from Yogeshwar Sri Krishna as mentioned in Bhagavad Gita. It says, Samattam Yoga Uchate. Whenever you, you have to, whenever you face difficulties in your life, challenges in your life, especially, you have to keep yourself composed, under control. That is what is very important to remain at a state of yoga. And a state of yoga means a state of peace, you can say. All the difficulties that you have to face will simply help you grow stronger on the one side. On the other side, it will help you handle the situations better next time whenever you face it. But for that, you have to face the challenges head on. You have to face it with conviction. If you try to escape, you have to always remain frightened. And that will lead to stress and stress will take away your peace of mind. So, Every difficult situations which are there in front of you need to be faced with a strong mind, with a strong determination. This is what is a yogi bhava. And that is what is a secret of ultimate peace because you will get the solution only when you face the challenges. If you run away from the challenges, that challenges will keep hurting you, keep hunting you, keep pushing you down. So this is what is the yogic philosophy that suggests us to face the challenges and then after having perfection in your action, after developing approach to face the challenges head on, after developing approach to make continuous effort in the right directions, we call it tapa, you will be able to move to the next stage of yoga. Yoga, when I say yoga, it is certainly a state of peace within. When you move to the state of yoga, means a state of peace within, you have to follow some steps suggested in yoga. We call them Ashtanga Yoga, which is easiest way. And it is not the only way, I tell you. There are many other ways to go for realizing that state of peace. There are yama and niyama followed by asana, pranayama, pratyahara, dharana, dhyana and samadhi. And these are the steps that we follow in a yoga. Every step will help us improve our being, help us improve our capacity to face the situations, help us to improve our capacity to handle challenges. And when you follow the path of that Ashtanga Yoga, we will improve our physical body, physical health. When we say our body, it is not only the physical body. We have to remember it. In yoga, we deal with five different dimensions. According to Taitre Upanishad, Annamaya kosa, pranamaya kosa, manumaya kosa, vijnanamaya kosa, and anandamaya kosa. These are the five kosa. We call them physical dimension, mental dimension, emotional dimension, intellectual dimension, and spiritual dimension. We have to optimize all these five dimensions to achieve the state of peace. And when you are in a state of peace, yes, you will have a state of peace outside also. This is how the yoga philosophy help us to lead to achieve, lead towards the everlasting peace within and outside. Video पसंद आई हो तो इस वीडियो को लाइक करें और इसी तरह की और वीडियोस देखने के लिए हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर लें।